Uh, this is going to be a video about how to fill out your outline for your constructive speech if you are the affirmative team. So um, the more that you fill this out and the more details that you put in here, the better I can help you out and give you feedback before you actually give your speech. So please, you know, spend a lot of time on this, take it seriously, and fill it out the best you can. Um, I want you to use quotes, so use quotes from your research. Um, and then verbal citations. So verbally, you're gonna, well, you can't do it verbally here, but you're gonna wanna stay um, next to your quotes where you got the information from. Cite your sources. Um, if you are first affirmative, this is your outline. Second affirmative is down below. Um, so first affirmative, you're gonna start by giving us a hook. Um, just like any other speech, it's important to start with a hook. If your topic is the drinking age, Maybe you want to start off by attacking the status quo by saying some sort of story that you got from your research. Um, maybe it'll have a really emotional plug in it that'll really grab the audience's attention. Right away, you want to prove to us that the drinking age um, needs to be changed. We need some sort of a change. Something needs to happen. We definitely have a problem with the status quo. Your hook needs to prove that. Um, sometimes people forget this next part because they get you know focused on what their hook is. But be very clear about what your proposition is saying. What is it that you're going to be arguing? Um, state that very clearly. Um, you've probably already talked with the other team about terms, um, and you probably agree on them. But this is just in case, because sometimes people get hung up on the definitions of terms. Um, even if your topic is, high schools do not do a good enough job of preparing students for college you need to define words like college because, you know, are we only talking about four-year schools when we're talking about college? Are we talking about technical schools, trade schools, online schools, you know, all those things. So just make sure that you're taking any terms that could be relevant to your topic and defining them here. Down here, um, this is where you're going to get um, a lot of your research and you're gonna use these different types of um, uh, let's see, strategies? Yeah, strategies, um, to prove two main points. You wanna have at least two main points that are very detailed and very well explained. So two reasons why the status quo isn't working, two reasons that will really prove what you're saying in your proposition. So um, use statistics, facts, details, examples, you know, all these different things. You probably won't have enough time for all of them, but you wanna use as many as you can to really prove there's a problem with the status quo through two main body points. At the end of your constructive speech, you will summarize your two arguments, you will wrap up your speech, you know, end with something good when you close, um, and then ask for concurrence, which basically means you're asking the audience to side with you. Please side with the affirmative because blah, 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 whatever your reasoning is. If you are second affirmative, um, your job right at the beginning is to start by attacking the arguments made by the first negative because the first negative is going to get to talk before you get to talk. So right off the bat, your job is to go after what they've said. They've probably brought up something, at least one thing, that you can go ahead and attack right away. So in order to get the audience to hear you know, that you are actually right, you want to go after something that the negative team said to prove that you are actually, in fact, the one who is right. The second thing you're going to do is finish the argument that your team member, uh, the first affirmative, made if necessary. If there's anything else that they missed, if there was a third main point that they didn't get to say, you know, you can add more research here if you need to. You may not need to use that. This is the most important part for second affirmative. <clears throat> you're going to explain your plan in detail. This is where you're going to tell us the who, what, when, where, why, how of what your plan is and why it's so good, why it's so thought out, why it's so detailed, and why it will work. Um, the negative team is going to try and pull apart your plan and they're going to try and say all the reasons why it's wrong and it won't work. So <clears throat> you want to have, <coughs> excuse me, you want to have thought about your plan so much that there's nothing they can do to tear it apart. Um, you wanna be ready for anything that they might bring up to say that your plan won't work. So be very clear about everything that is gonna go into your plan. By the end of your speech, summarize your main points, um, end with a final strong statement, and ask the audience for concurrence. Side with the affirmative team because this, this, and this. 
I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you need anything. Have a great day.